when wars were looming, when the world was disrupted, or when the world seemed all as it should be, the people were complacent and things were going as well as they possibly could. And these moments in history, these are when the prophets showed up to remind Israel, the people of God, who they were. The prophets were there not just to interpret the future, but to interpret their own time and to call Israel back into a loving, responsive relationship with God. The prophets showed up to remind the people of the covenant they had with God, a covenant that inspired the people to live out his righteousness, his justice, and his mercy, not just individually, but corporately as a society. As the facade has ripped off society in these moments, these prophets, with their sign acts, with their antics, with their protest poetry, showed up and started spitting bars. They spoke truth to power, and they revealed the spiritual state of their people and they called them back into a whole scale societal renewal of shalom, of wholeness, of a society that models the character of God. And for we who follow Jesus today in our own cultural context and our own nations, we can read the prophets with this sense of a tradition of seeing the needs in society and modeling what it looks like to speak truth to power and to call God's people into spiritual renewal. May we not harden our hearts as was often the case of the audience of the prophets of old. And may we soften our hearts, hear their critique as we listen to their protest poetry and seek God and seek wholeness together. So we're gonna dive into the prophet Micah. What is this book of the Bible all about? Who and when, why, all of these questions we're going to be wrestling with. But let's just take a look at the whole picture for a moment. Arnold and Bayer say, Micah's message centered on themes of social injustice, true worship, and false security. C. Hassel Bullock says, Micah pitted his message against a society whose overconfidence and self-indulgence had become the false gospel of the pseudo-prophets. Micah aimed largely at the civil and religious leaders of Judah, but he was not blinded to the sins of the people whose cause he took up and defended. So this is what we expect in this book, to speak truth to power about injustice, fake facades of worship, and an invitation into a renewal that comes to change not just individual hearts, but the whole society around us. Our poet prophet, whose spitting bars, calls us into shalom. Are you ready to experience the prophetic voice in the book of Micah. Drop a beat.